Up guys, it's Farmer Daily. It's uh, it's a Saturday morning actually, um, and and we're expecting a lot of our ewes to start lambing uh, really at Easter time. But it would seem that this year we've been uh, our tups or our rams at tupping time when we first put them in with the girls. Uh, they've been straight on it. You'd usually like give them a few days to sort of warm up and get going. But in particular, our sportable tup must have been on it like a carb on it because. Uh, we've had loads and loads of sportables giving birth, and we've got a, we've still got one now. Um, yeah, like I say, it's Saturday morning makes no difference to these girls. I don't know if it's Saturday or Sunday or Monday or whatever. Uh, they just know it's time to lamb. So uh, we've got one lambing just in this pen, just behind me. Um, she's not too far just yet. She has got a fluid bag out, but uh, but there's a bit of a way to go. So we're going to keep an eye on her and uh, and see how things go. As you well know, we like to leave natural births if at all possible. Uh, and we leave them plenty of time to do that if they can. Um, if there's a problem, then we'll step in and help. So anyway, let's find her and let's see how she's going on. Right, I think it's uh, it's this one just here. Yeah, you just see it just by the back gate there. Um, zoom in. There we go. So it's that one. No, <laughs> just got in the way. Not the one rubbing on the hay feeder. The one just behind it, and you can see she's got a. A small fluid bag just hanging about there. I haven't seen her doing any pushing yet, and she's been eating a bit of air. So that could be two things. That could be uh, she's been trying a little bit, and uh, and she's not getting anywhere, so she's packed in, uh, and she might have a push in a little while, or she could literally just have started. Um, we're going to give her... I'll give her a good few... Oh, a little bit of a push there, I think. A little bit of a contraction. So we're going to give her a few minutes... Um, you know, give her a few minutes, let her have a push, and as long as she does start pushing, which I think she just did then, uh, we should be well on the way. Right, guys, so we've uh, I've had a word with uh, with good old our mate Charlotte here, unless she's here as well, doing the holding. Uh, and we've left her for quite some time, and in all honesty, we're not, uh, we ain't got very far, so we're just going to see what's going on, first and foremost. It, it's all there, it's... I don't feel like an overly big one, but because she's been going a little while, I think we'll help her out just so she don't get get too tired with it. Yeah. And then not want to mother it when it's yeah. So Charlotte makes a very good point. You can sometimes leave them too long, and they'll think, "Well, I'm too fed up. I'm too tired, and I can't really be bothered looking after this lamb." That is something that does sometimes happen. So we're just gonna. Uh... She is, she's pushing a little bit. Well, I'm... I think she just needed a bit of. Uh... A bit of coercing, really, to to start to have a go. So she ain't got all that much room, has she? I don't think. Don't be too old and uh, I'll can give you a pull. Why have you got it? I think it'll come. Mm -hmm. it. There we go, it's got a big head. It's got a massive head. <laughs> That's one of the issues here. And she's gone down. And there we go. So it's uh, it's not all that small, is it? It's, uh, it's a big one. I think you got deceived because it had little feet. It's got tiny little feet, but... <laughs> Tiny little feet, but a big head. There we go, tongue's going. And I think if we just let her go. So, she's happy with that one. Uh, another big sortable lamb. They do have, they, they do and can have big lambs, these. But I think, I think that a good job you helped there, Charlotte. That were uh, a big a big old head, and I reckon she's probably been pushing a while and not, not really getting too far. So, there you go, we, another one where we've had to just sort of step in and help. Um, she's marked for twins, I think, so she, she, she should be another. should be having another. Uh, but we're going to leave it to it, we're going to see what happens, and uh, all being well, she'll have the other one herself. Right, we're having uh, an unforeseen issue here. Um, she wants to lick that lamb so much, and give it so much attention, that she's not really letting it drink. 
and the lamb's wandering off looking for uh, looking for someone else who might give her a drink. So lamb's being wandering off to all these other ewes, hoping that they might be able to give her a drink. Um, so if, if it carries on, we're just going to move her into a pen and get her settled, and then she'll be able to have the next lamb in there, because last thing we want is this lamb wandering off, really. You see what I mean? She's, uh, she's turning away from it in order to... Um, in order to lick it, so. She's doing the right thing, but uh, it's just not the right thing for the right moment. That lamb's really progressed quickly and doesn't need all that attention. It just needs a bit of milk. Right, so we're gonna pop her in a pen and she will probably follow that one. Right guys, so we've got her all penned up and we might end up having to hold this older for this first lamb to have a drink actually she's really not laying it really not laying it drink so uh, it might be a case of us holding it meanwhile the other ones quickly are starting to arrive we can definitely see a nose there now uh, and a couple of legs as well right, she's been she's been at it for for ages again and it's not it's just she's just not getting on with it and like i say this this lamb probably going to be 99% it's going to be fine but the the one percent chance that something's not quite right and the lamb's just sitting there waiting to be born while she's um, she's not quite getting on with it so Charlotte's just going to give it a very little helping hand because it's all presented correctly there we go and it's, it's got another big head I think that's half a problem there we go another big lovely lamb that uh, really should have you know it should have popped out, but the head was a little bit big there, and she's just not really uh, not playing ball. And this other lamb, in the meantime, is starting to drink all the milk, which is not ideal. So <laughs> this one's now now being born, and I would guess, Charlotte, um, it's going to be up and about just as quickly as that one. Yeah, heads up already. Mum loves them to bits, but she's moving around a little bit uh, and not quite letting them drink properly, just because she's giving them so much attention. There's a big... there's. 99% chance, and I'll keep saying that, but there's a 99% chance she'll be fine and she'll settle down, especially now that she's had both of them, and we should just be able to let them get on with it. Um, Charlotte sprayed the navel of the other one. What's this one, Charlotte? This is a little girl too. So two little girls, lovely little girls, very lively, and uh, a very successful lambing. Right, guys, so from me, Farmer Dale, and from... Farmer Charlotte. Um, thanks very much for watching. We've got two lovely little lambs, one brand new born and where's the other one it's hiding behind me <laughs> so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you later bye guys bye.